Hello, what's up? Once again, this is Ali for another video on our Vita jailbreak series. And this time on how to jailbreak or how to downgrade our Vita and install Enso. So what exactly is Enso? Um, Enso is a modification we can install to our Vita to give it a permanent jailbreak. And to those who are not yet aware, jailbreak on Vita only has a temporary effect. That means uh, every time you turn off uh, your Vita, you will have uh, to reactivate uh, your jailbreak. And if you want to have a permanent jailbreak, you will have uh, to have an Enso installed on our Vita. But unfortunately, Enso only supports uh, or only works on a firmware 3.60 and 3.65. So uh, if uh, you are on the later firmware, so uh, unfortunately, uh, on the current stage of our Vita, we have uh, to update our Vita to the latest firmware before we can install HN4 or Henkaku. So if we want to have a permanent jailbreak, we have uh, to downgrade our Vita first. Uh, but you don't have to worry because uh, downgrading Vita is so much easier and safer now compared to the old days. Uh, just make sure we have uh, the right uh, version of tools and uh, to follow exactly the uh, process on our video to make sure that we don't encounter this uh, um, er any errors on our process because uh, any mistakes on the version of the tools uh, can definitely uh, break uh, our console so just make sure that we follow all the steps and we download all the necessary tools uh, for this video for it to work and also your Vita has uh, to have an H in core first or a Henkaku and uh, we won't go through that whole process on this video so if you don't have Henkaku on your Vita first I would strongly recommend to check our other video on how to install Henkaku and after you have installed Henkaku you may proceed on this video to downgrade and install your Enzo so let us proceed on our video and download all the stuff that we need first for this video we are going uh, to need a couple of files and uh, most of them are already on this link so we'll just leave a link on this description yes open the link and you may scroll down a little to get more information regarding the downgrade process and you will see here that it is very important to download or use the latest version of modoru especially we are on 3.74 we have to make sure that our modoru supports the latest firmware so for the latest version of Modoro, I also left a link on our description. So uh, we have here the Modoro 2.3. So to download this version, just click on this link. And you may just choose where to download or where to save your file. But in our case, uh, we'll just go ahead and save them on the folder that we have created for this video. So let us put them here. And save. Now we are going to use a firmware version for our Vita after the downgrade. And since I'm using a PS Vita FAT, most probably the factory settings or the factory version is very low. So I can choose 3.60. But we cannot install a firmware that is lower than your factory firmware or factory version. So how do we know the factory firmware of our Vita? Later when we run our Modoro, there will be a part where the system will check the lowest version available for your Vita. Be careful not to install a version lower than your factory settings but uh, for now since i have a fat vera i'm going to choose a 3.60 just click on that link and uh, it should download uh, your version automatically so just uh, pick your folder and i think this one is for 3.65 let's just uh, create another folder for 3.60 official firmware And let us make sure we have uh, the correct file name. And uh, click on save. Lastly, we need the version of Enso that supports your firmware. For this link, we are going to use 3.60. But I will also leave a link in our description where to get the Enso for 3.65. And to download this version of Enso, just scroll down a little and click on this part. Here. And again, uh, choose uh, a folder where you can easily track your files. Uh. So let us go ahead and uh, paste them here. And once we have uh, downloaded all the files that we need, uh, it is time to transfer them uh, to our Vita. Back on our PS Vita, let us go ahead and activate our Henkaku or Asian Core. And again, if you have not yet installed your Henkaku, you may go ahead and check our other video how to install Henkaku on your Vita. Then open our Vita shell and press select to start a connection. 
let us then transfer Enzo and Modoru on the root of our hard drive or on the root of our Vita. Then back on our Vita shell, let's go ahead and install Enzo and Modoru. Then after installing Modoru on the root of our Vita, there is a folder app. And inside the folder app, there will be a folder Modoru. Then inside the folder Modoru, we are going to transfer the official firmware that we choose for our Vita. And after transferring our files, let us go ahead and reboot our Vita and activate HN4 once again. Then let us now open Modoru. Just make sure you don't open any other app before opening Modoru. Then inside Modoru, we can see the target firmware and the factory firmware of our Vita. Make sure that our target firmware is not lower than the factory firmware of our Vita. Otherwise, it can definitely break our Vita. Then once satisfied, you may now go ahead, press X to accept and press X to continue. And just wait for the whole downgrade process to complete. And once completed, it will automatically restart your Vita. And you may go ahead and activate your Edge in Core for the very last time. And since we are now on 3.60, we can go ahead and install a hand cargo using the web host. Just open your internet browser and go to this website. And press install hand cargo. Then just uh, disregard this error message and wait for the whole uh, installation to complete. Then after the installation, let us go back to the hand cargo settings and enable unsafe homebrew and install and so then just press circle to accept and X to install. And we may now go ahead and enjoy our Vita with the permanent jailbreak. With and so you don't have to reactivate your hand cargo every time you use your Vita. And this is it for our video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.